Today we are going to speak about the steps of washing the hair when the client is in the salon. So if you are a salon owner or hairdresser and you are a person that you don't like to wash the hair, this video I believe it will be help you to understand why it's very important to wash the client hair in the right way. Okay, so uh, step number one, we need to be sure that the client she is sitting in the washing unit, she is comfortable, we can ask the client question, how do you feel, are you comfortable sitting here? So after that, we'll ask the client, uh, how do you prefer the water, you like warm, medium or uh, cold water? We adjust the water and then when we will put the water on the scalp, we will ask the same question, this is fine, so let the client to feel very comfortable. After checking like we will rinse the hair with the water when we are rinsing we'll ask the client a question like which kind of shampoo you prefer uh, we have for example for dry hair for oily scalp you know just like make the client to understand that like you have many options not only one kind of shampoo in all the cases why we are asking these questions because here we have opportunity to do treatment for example Okay, so when you ask the client which kind of shampoo you prefer, let's say the client, she say, I want for dry hair. So here I have opportunity to tell the client, if you have like 10 minutes time, we have, for example, express treatment, will help you to hydrate the hair the same time when we are washing. So what do you think about it? Okay, so if the client you have oily, we will say the same. Also, look, also to let the client to understand, we have take home product that they can use it in the home to solve their uh, problem. The way how to wash the hair. So first, very important to wet the hair all over. Here, like really very important to take just like one pump of the shampoo, mix it really well. Then you can start applying the shampoo gently all over the hair. So gently, then we just massage it gently. We don't need to push from the beginning because we want the shampoo to give bubbles as much as possible. Okay, so after giving the shampoo. So here very important to understand that when we are washing the hair, we need to focus on the scalp because the scalp is oily, like we need really like to cleanse the scalp very well. Okay, so here usually like uh, we need to focus all the areas of the scalp. So to make it easy, we will hold the hair with one hand. Then we will go and start like a half moon. Okay, so half moon, half moon, one side. And then like we will go the other side, just like we'll make it like a half moon. So when you are doing the half moon technique, you are sure that you are scrubbing all the scalp. Okay, so for the top part, so here is the most important point. So we can use our fingers and then just like take it in this way to be sure that we cleanse all the scalp. Okay, so focusing on the scalp. Okay, so we need to be gentle. We don't need to shake the head of the client when we are working. So we need to control. As you see, in one drop of uh, shampoo, it gives us already a lot of bubbles in the hair. Then we are going to rinse with the water. Here, very important to just like control the water so will not make the client whole wet. Okay, so it's very important because the client, they have makeup. So we need just like to be really sure that like we are rinsing it well without making the product coming to the scalp or to the face. Okay, so now we shampoo the hair one time. We are going to shampoo the hair the second time as well. As we see, just like one drop of the shampoo, we mix it really well in our hand. Then we go and apply gently all over the hair. So the same technique what we do before, we can start from this part with massaging gently, focusing on the scalp. Okay, then we can use this technique as well, just like to massage the front part. Then we can use this hold the head with our two fingers, opening your fingers and then focusing down. So this is another technique very similar, but 
it depends like which one you feel comfortable you can use it okay so with wrapping the scalp to be sure that like our fingers is touching all the scalp all the areas in the scalp okay so here we have some type of the client who will tell just like wash the hair stronger right so it's fine after giving the bubbles so we can go a little bit be a little bit more aggressive uh, to the scalp but before doing that like we need always to have some consultation with the client asking the client do you like the pressure or you want me like to go a little bit more harder understand because there are some people like they like the shampoo to be gentle there are some people they like it like more harder with understanding our client we give the best service all right so after finishing the shampoo we are going to rinse the hair already we know the technique okay so now also very important one how to apply the conditioner and which type of the conditioner we'll use for the hair so for example here we have blonde hair we have a hair than highlights as we see like the hair is a little dry so it's very important to use a or the right conditioner the conditioner that will hydrate the hair as well will moisturize it okay also when we are using the conditioner in the same technique we are applying one drop mixing well then applying to the hair all over so we are not applying directly to the scalp we are applying on the hair so after applying it on the hair, as you see, you are sectioning the hair, section by section. Mm -hmm. Then to be sure that like we are applying all the areas with the right amount of the conditioner. Okay, so then we are going to rinse it with the water. Also here it's important to rinse the hair well. Okay, so when we are after rinsing the hair well, we will use our hands and then just like squeeze the hair to remove the all extra water from the hair. The client slowly up using the towel and then wrapping the client well, ready to do the styling. Okay, so after washing the hair, here it's very important to use a leave-in product. So as we see, we apply little amount, we mix it well, we're going to apply all over the hair. The leave-in is very important, it will be help us to brush the hair, as well it will be protect the hair from the heat. Okay, so here as well, we are going to brush the hair, especially if we have tangled hair. As we see here the brush, if we are going to use the brush in this way, it will be much easier for us, okay, instead of going like this, okay, because the brush. So the first step, let's we brush the hair gently, okay, so with vertical technique, okay, so then we will go section the hair and then will brush the hair so much for watching and let me know in the comment below what do you think Chop oui. using our fingers just like to give this natural movement to the hair